Changes on the BBC. Well, time now to venture into our local communities. This time we go to Brighton, Kemp Town, where Tim Holton has won the National Lottery Award for his incredible work at Brighton Table Tennis Club. And it was presented to him by Brighton and Hove Albion legend Bobby Zamora, no less. Since 2007, alongside others, Tim has transformed the club from running just one session a week to attracting 1,500 people to 70 weekly sessions across the city. He's helped bring people of all backgrounds, ages and skill level from beginners to 2016 Paralympic champion Will Bailey together to form a table tennis family. Our reporter Ashley Adamson-Edwards went along to find out more. So Tim, quite the day for yourself. One thing I want to start the interview with, just coming out of your little reception area over there, a picture of all these different people, hundreds of people, different players, different coaches. Talk, talk to me about that. Yeah, so now um, it's nearly 18 years since we started and um, we've got over 1,500 people a week playing across 70 sessions. Um, but we've always felt and we still feel like we're just at the beginning of the journey. So there's just still so much more we can do and there's just still so many more people we can get to enjoy and love playing table tennis and feel part of the community here. Yeah, so I think the, the, the sort of scale of the club now and the breadth of the community, uh, uh, yeah, is, 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 uh, is, is, I think it's unprecedented in, in table tennis, certainly. And I think if there was equivalent projects in other sports, I think we would know about them. So I think this is like, the, yeah, it's exciting that this is just such a diverse and strong community where there's just people of literally all backgrounds you can't imagine a more diverse community than that you know you've got people of all ages from like five up to a hundred uh, asylum seekers people out of prison people with disabilities uh, travelers ex-homeless people everyone everyone can play table tennis and the whole thing is about social value and about you know oppo- providing opportunities for people that otherwise wouldn't necessarily be able to afford them so um yeah it's uh it's great. It's a great project, and you know, there's a lot of a lot of people working very hard to, to run all these sessions and to make keep the whole thing going. You know, this is definitely an award for the club. Yeah, a lot of table tennis clubs are and have been like one man bands. You know, but this place is the opposite of that. Four seven. That's your point because it was double bounce. Yeah, it's four seven. I, I just feel lucky every day I wake up. I just think all these people, like all these people, not all these people necessarily just benefiting from the club being there, but contributing to help others you know what everyone's always always spoken about for the last hour that I've been here it's all glory it's all this is amazing incredible club everyone's here but it couldn't have always been like that talk to me about the start because I understand it's gone to this incredible point that it is but you, you started out at quite a difficult position yeah so you know I think I was 22 uh, and met myself Harry McCartney and Wenway we could all play table tennis and we met we met at a, at a, a session a table tennis session at the University of Brighton and decided that, um, well, there was a bit of a gap in the market. Started in the Brighton Youth Centre, around the corner, two broken tables, just an idea that table tennis could be used to do something good for young people. And uh, that was 18 years ago nearly, so it's about building blocks. It's about, I think we were always ambitious and we always wanted to, we we knew that table tennis was a a, a great way of of engaging all different types of people. But yeah, I think the the journey's, um, yeah, the journey's great to look back at and just, literally just finishing off uh, designing a timeline which just shows all these pictures and memories and how it's grown you know over the years so yeah it's, uh, it's been 18 years a long way it continue you know I want to keep this going till, it, till I retire so another 40 years maybe Ryan, Ryan Goodyear is 12 and he lives like 30 seconds around the corner people see him play no one can believe like that he's only 12, he plays with such maturity and such good feeling and technique. Um, and yeah, he just came in here two and a half years ago. Will's done loads of work with him, Teresa, Wenway, Josh Bennett. Like the, co- the coaching team here is just ridiculous. And he's got all these older players that he's, he's grown up with. But he's, like, he's, best, he's number two in England, under 13. But he's just got so much potential to be a professional, full-time table tennis player. And his passport arrived, first, his first passport, on his birthday, the end of April this year. And since then, he's been to eight countries, uh, Hungary, Sweden, Denmark, you name it, Holland, to play for England. So he's, he's going to San Marino next week to play for England. You know, he's, 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 he's just, it's just unbelievable. Like his, his story, 
you know, that is literally the table tennis club opening up the world to this 12 year old who's now on the path to becoming, you know, full time professional young player. You know, he's, he's, he's remarkable. He's, he, I can't beat him anymore. He's 12 and he, he thrashed me last week. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm 12 years old. My name's Ryan and I play at Brighton Table Tennis Club. Uh, I play for England and I'm number three in England under 13s. Wow, that's that's quite an achievement. How did you go from here to England? I got invited to play under 11 nationals, where I took out the number two in the whole category. That was probably a big target for me. Where do you want to go in the future? What's, what's your main goal? You must you must have your eye on some kind of award. The Olympics. Yeah. I want to win a medal in the Olympics. That's a big goal. What kind of medal? Gold, silver, bronze? Gold, but I'm not going to settle for silver, so... I'm going to keep going. I like the attitude, mate. Speaking to Harry Fairchild earlier, he's got Down syndrome, he's an incredible player. He's, was he the world's first Down syndrome sports coach? He was, yeah, he was. He did his table tennis coaching qualification seven years ago and he was the first coach with Down syndrome of any sport. Um, and yes, yeah, the 10-year ten, ten anniversary, two weeks' time, of when we first did a session with Grace Eyre for um, adults with learning disabilities. Harry was at the very first session. And yeah, 10 years later, you know, he's grown up in the club. He's 32, but he's just a legend. He's an amazing table tennis player, amazing character, and what a contribution he's made to the club over the last 10 years. And, you know, take him into the prisons and he just smashes all the prisoners and they love it and he loves it. And he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's incredible. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. How did you become a coach? What, t- talk to me about it. What was it like? Being a coach is all about a thing and with the people who is I mean playing. How have you found teaching people as well? What what's that been like? Have you been able to show them? You know, has any of them been able to get as good as you? Yes, 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 yes. Um, the people who are playing what we do now, being a coach, it means show them how to hold the back. What has this club done for you as well? This this club in Brighton. What has that done for you and Tim as well? What's your relationship like with him? Um, uh, uh, with me with Tim. Uh, um, Tim is one of my best friends, by the way. Hey, um, I thought the club meant to me because the club has been here. It's my family. It's my home. Had people come here like. Uh, like CEOs of big like uh, tech companies in Brighton, and they think they can play table tennis, and they've got you know, and then just put them on against Harry, and he just wipes the floor with them, you know. And it's it's so refreshing for uh, for that to happen, you know, for someone with a visible disability just to just to come in and just play like that, you know. His, his table tennis is is remarkable. So my uh, eldest is nearly six. Harry's the god godfather. He loves it. So it's like extended family, you know. It's uh, everyone in the club together and everyone supporting each other and table tennis is just the, the reason for all, us all coming together but yeah so ne- early next year we're about 30 of us going to um, Malmo in Sweden a massive para tournament in February and then there's a smaller group going to the um, Sports Union of Down Syndrome World Championships in Turkey in March and then in Paris it'll be my 40th there's 70 of us going for a week to watch the Paralympics Will, Bly, Jack and all the other GB para team, we're going to be out there. Massive support contingent from Brighton in Paris. Can't wait. So, Will, we're down here at the, the Brighton Table Tennis Club. You've had a fantastic career yourself. Talk to me, why are you down here specifically? What was it about this club that you drew you to it in the first place? Well, um, you know, a few years ago, um, my family sort of moved down here and um, I came here just to practice uh, after the Paralympic Games in 2000 and yeah well Tokyo and um, 2021 because it was delayed but then I just fell in love with the club as soon as I got here I mean you can see the atmosphere um, there's so many players with disabilities which sort of perked my interest because I thought I could help out a lot I thought I could offer a lot especially with my experience and stuff of playing Paralympics and yeah I love the club I love Tim I love everything about the club and yeah it motivates me to be successful myself in my own game and pushes me on to be better as well Talk to me about that, that, those things that you've given to the club as well. You've played doubles with Bly Toomey as well. What was your relationship like with her? Yeah, I mean, I saw Bly the first day she walked in the club. Um, so, like, uh, I've known her literally, you know, her whole career in table tennis career. And sort of, like, it's been a privilege to coach her and to work with her because uh, 
I get to I get to put all my knowledge into her that I've learned all my life. That's all the only thing I know about is power table tennis. I, I'm at playing the best table tennis of my career right now, you know. And I think it's because I'm more well rounded, you know, I'm working, I'm developing other players, I'm working on my own game. And I used to put so much pressure on myself. I used to just think about myself and think about if I'm winning or losing and stuff and now it sort of spread out. I actually playing better myself. You know, it's weird, isn't it? But I'm playing the best of my career. I'm 35. I still feel like I can definitely win a gold medal in, in the next Paralympics. And that's what I want to do. So we'll see. It's not just about the sport. It's more than that. It's about friendship. It's about like community spirit. It's old school in a way, isn't it? It's like coming together from everyone from different generations, from different backgrounds. You know, like Ryan Goodyear, who's probably the best He's number two in England, but he's probably the best player in England for his age, playing with like a 70-year-old, you know, uh, volunteer here. I mean, that happens every day. And I think it's cool because those 12-year-olds, they learn, they learn more than just playing sport, and it will make them a better sportsman because of that. You know what I mean? They're more humble, they're more well-rounded, and they're, they're learning off the older people, maybe not about the table tennis, but about more than table tennis, about life. And that is absolutely priceless, isn't it? That's like the dream combination of creating players, top players. And that's why Bly's so good. We're talking about Bly, the best player in the world for her age group. You know, she's 12, she's 13 now. I mean, it's an exciting time for the club and that's important. Coming, everyone. Thanks for coming, Bobby. Yeah. It's, live or not? it's not live. How are you doing, Bly? Good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. So what I've read and what I've heard, you're somewhat of a, a little superstar? Yep. How did you get into table tennis originally? Uh, I went to a Molson camp, the BTTC were running, and it was a disability camp, and then they did loads of different sports, and I found table tennis, they invited me here, and I've been here ever since. And what do you think of this club? Uh, it's amazing, and I wouldn't have achieved anything without them. You've played at many competitions so far, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. What was your most recent one? Uh, uh, France Power Open, I got a gold medal. A gold medal at the age of 13, what did that feel like? To get a gold medal now, and I've only been playing two years, it's a massive inspiration. Lovely. Uh, you played in a doubles tournament with Will Bailey recently, is that right? Yeah. He coaches me every Wednesday for a one-to-one, -one and it means a lot because he's won a gold medal, and now I think I can do that too. What's your target going forward? What do you want to achieve in your career? Uh, I'm hoping to get gold at the Paralympics, and I'm hoping just this year to maybe go to Paris Paralympics. It's fantastic, Brian. Have a good day. Obviously, Tim has made so much of a difference to so many of your lives. This award is for Tim and obviously everybody here who works so hard to, to have done the amazing job that they have done. But a little lump in the throat, to be honest, mate, just to see how that, that people are out there and making such a difference to so many people. So, well done, mate. And listen, make sure you always support him. Anything he needs, all you young, you young kids, anything he needs, make sure he gets it. <laughs> So I'm now joined by Bobby Zamora, Brighton Hove Albion legend. I've seen a young lad, Ryan, and this is another young girl here, uh, Blythe. Again, been playing table tennis uh, for two years uh, and she's in the Paralympics team. She's incredible. Um, and these guys are, are, would, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do that um, and to represent their countries without this being here, you know. So um, Tim's done an amazing job. He's an amazing character. Um, just it's remarkable yeah, if someone said 18 years ago that this was going to happen yeah I don't know this is we're just getting started like just keep building we're getting volunteers and new staff and we've got plans for expansion and getting more good people all contributing towards the same common goal I think you know let's see what happens in another 18 years that report from Ashley Adamson Edwards at the super busy Brighton Table Tennis Club. Congratulations once again to Tim Holton and good luck to both Will Bailey and Blyde Toomey in getting to Paris 2024 and hopefully winning medals. We'll be following all our hopefuls from Kent, Sussex and